Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to make some homemade beef stroganoff. This is just some of the ingredients that we have. Alright, let's get into it. Guys, so we've got a couple steaks here. We're just going to cube them up into bite-sized pieces. After that, we're going to throw them in a pan, season them up with some buck seasoning and minced garlic. Okay, now my mom is finishing up cutting it, and then I'm just going to scrape it into the pan, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Now I'm just putting in the beef, right? Yep. Okay, now you're going to take the buck seasoning. Season it really good because it adds good flavor to your gravy at the end. Like, not too much, not too... Just right. That good? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to go get a spoon. We're going to put a spoon of the minced garlic in there. I need a closer spoon. Oh, it's fine. And then after we fry the, brown this up, we're going to put some beef broth in there and let it boil for a little bit. And then I take the meat out because it makes it easier to make the gravy less chunky. And then I just take a scoop, one little scoop, right? Good size scoop. Also helps flavor the gravy. So much stuff helps flavor the gravy. It does. Is the juice fine? Yep. There we go. Now we're going to brown it up. I love it. Okay, guys, the meat's browning in some butter. We still got a little pink left in there, but that's okay. We're going to add the beef broth now. We'll let the meat simmer. Keep going. You want to fill the pan. There's no exact measurement. Just remember that whatever liquid you have is how much gravy you're going to get. So the more gravy you want, the more liquid you'll add. We'll just let that simmer in the beef broth for a little bit. Okay, well the meat's simmering. You can get your stuff ready to make a gravy. When I make my gravy, I use flour and water to thicken it. And we're gonna add some flour in a cup. Water. Let it thick. Stir wheel do Nice and thick, get it comes out. Just stir that really well. I don't like clumpy gravy. I don't think anybody does. Alright, so you want it nice and thick. And this is what you're gonna thicken your gravy with after you take your meat out. And I'll show you when we're ready. Okay, I took all the meat out so I can make a gravy. And then here's my flour and water mixture. I'm going to pour it in slowly, mix in, get it nice and thick. Oh, my gravy is amazing. the whole container. Oh, really? oh. I forgot to tell him what size container it is. So can you unsmoosh it and tell him? <laughs> <laughs> Where does it say? 14 ounces of sour cream into your gravy. You're going to mix that up and then you're going to put the meat on. Oh, it's so hard. Mix it up and show them what it's going to look like. Okay, 
can probably get a regular spoon now. the package stroganoff before and following the directions but making your own gravy and adding sour cream tastes much better I recommend trying it this video is like a try new stroganoff or whatever it's called yes try something new guys you won't be disappointed it'll taste good and while we were making the gravy and all that, we've been boiling water to make some noodles to put this all on. And we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. <laughs> 